Now let's look at editing the text in your page. So notice how there's two tabs up top. There's a View tab and an Edit tab. The View tab allows you to look at the page as a viewer may, look, may see the page. The Edit tab is where you edit the page. And this editing window looks real similar to you know, what a Blackboard window would look like. Now, notice how on the bottom there is also a Save, Save and Continue, meaning that you save it and then continue in the editing window, or you can cancel if you've made some changes and don't want to use those changes. You have to make sure you hit Save or Save and Continue for the changes to take effect. Make sure that the Editing tab is highlighted and then that you have this toolbar up top that indicates that you are in the editing window. One of the best ways to input text is to take it from a Word document. So if we copy and paste from a Word document, and we're just going to highlight over, use this space, and go ahead and insert our new text. Now, you can type directly into the box, but it doesn't have really a good word processor. So if you type it into a Word document and then copy and paste, you can use the features of your word processor. Also, there's a feature here, too, where if you want to change the formatting, you can just remove all of your formatting and kind of start again with whatever formatting that you want to put in. The horizontal rule bar is kind of a nice tool for separating parts of your window. And then if we want to go ahead and view this, we need to save it. And then we can see that we are now in the View tab. So we can kind of take a look at what this looks like to a user or somebody who is just looking at the wiki. So if we go back into the editing, we notice that we have our toolbar back up. And now let's try and put in a link. And there are several types of links that you can put in. We're going to put in a hyperlink to another website. So I'm going to highlight Screencast. And I'm going to add a link. The link type I'm going to choose is a URL. It's going to be a web page. You can also link to a PBWorks page if you're linking to another page. You can link to a file if you've uploaded a file, and we'll talk about that later. You can link to a PBWorks folder or URL or an email. So we're going to do our URL. So HTTP, and this is www.screencast.com. You can choose to open it up in a new window which we will, or you can just open it up in the current window that you're in. Notice how we get a little prompt now that shows us that URL, and we can actually edit and remove it right from that prompt. The link does not work right now because we're in the editing mode, but if we save this, go to the view mode, We can now follow that link, and we see that that opens up in that window. So text editing is really pretty basic as far as being able to put it into your wiki window, adding a link similar to what you've done with 
other processors and interfaces.